hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a page to post the review in our angular application and we created the wishlist entity in our spring boot application and in today's video we will create an api to get the product details and in this api we will return the product data with the faqs and the reviews of the product and in our application whenever a user will click on any of these product we will redirect him to another page and we will call that api and on that page first of all we will show the product details then we will show the reviews and at the end we will show the faqs for that product so let's get started so to create the api first of all we need to create the dto and for that we can right click on our dto package and we will create a new java class and we need to name this class as product detail dto and we will annotate this class with at the rate data annotation from lombok so we can get the getters and setters and in this class first of all we need to get the product details and to do that we will mention a property of product dto and we will name this as product dto after the product dto we need to send the reviews so we will write another property and this property will be a type of list of review dto and we will name this as review dto list now let's import this list class and after the reviews we need to mention the property for the faq so we will write private list of faq dto and we will name this as faq dto list our dto is completed and to create the api method we need to open our services package and in the services we will open our customer and inside the customer package we need to open the customer product service implementation and in this class we can write our method and this method will return product detail dto and we can name this as get product detail by id and in the param we need to get the product id so we will mention long product id and in the body of this method first of all we need to get the product so we will create a variable and this variable will be an optional one of type product and we can name this as optional product and we will call our product repository dot find by id method and in the params we will pass product id after this we need to write one if condition and here we will check the availability of our product and to do that we can call optional product dot is present method and if the product is not present in our db then we will write return statement and we will return null now in this if condition we need to get the faqs and reviews of the product and to do that first of all we need to inject faq repository and to do that we can write private final faq repository and then we will name this as faq repository after this we need to inject the review repository as well so we'll do that and now let's import these classes now let's go back to our method and in this method we will create a variable of list of faq and we can name this as faq list and we will call our faq repository dot find all by product id and in the params we will pass product id now let's import this faq class and after this we will declare another variable of list of reviews and we will name this as a review list and we will use our review repository dot find all by product id and we will pass the product id in the params now let's import this review class and now we need to create these methods inside the faq repository and review repository so let's open the faq repository 
and the return type of this method will be list of FAQ and the query should be find all by product ID and in the params we will mention long product ID now let's import this list class here and let's copy this method and let's open our review repository and here we can paste the same method and instead of the list of FAQ the return type of this method will be list of review now let's go back to our customer product service implementation and after getting the FAQs and reviews we need to create a product detail DTO and we can name this as product detail DTO and now we need to set the details in it so we will call product detail DTO dot set product and here we will use our optional product dot get and then we will call get DTO method and as you know in this get DTO method we are converting our product entity into the product DTO now let's go back to the class and after setting the product details we will call again product detail DTO dot set FAQ DTO list and here we will use our FAQ list and we will apply the stream on it and then we will call the map method and inside this map method we will call get FAQ DTO method and then we will use dot collect method to collect this to list and as you know in the get FAQ DTO we are converting the entity into the FAQ DTO now let's duplicate this FAQ line and this time we need to set the review DTO list and we will remove this FAQ list and we will write review list here and let's remove the FAQ from the map and here we will call get DTO method of the review entity now at the end we will write the return statement and we will return our product detail DTO our get product detail by ID method is completed now let's copy this and let's mention it in customer product service now we need to write the endpoint for this method and to do that we can open our customer package and inside the customer package we will open customer product controller and here we can start writing our method and this method will return a response entity of product detail DTO and we can name this method as get product detail by ID and in the params we will mention at the rate path variable annotation and this will be of type long and we can name this as product ID and in this method we will create a product detail DTO and we will call our customer product service dot get product detail by ID and in the params we will pass product ID and after this we will write one if condition and we will check if our product detail DTO is equals to null then we will write the return statement and we will return response entity dot not found and then we will call the build method if our product detail DTO is not null then we will write the return statement and we will return response entity dot ok and inside this we will pass our product detail DTO after this we need to give annotation for this method and we will use at the rate get mapping annotation and for the path we will pass it as slash product slash product ID our API call is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now let's go to our postman and let's test this api as you can see i am in my postman and in the authorization i already gave our token and for the path after the api slash customer we need to pass the product 
and after the product we need to give the id of the product and let's say i want to get the details of the product with the id 6 so after mentioning it i will click on this send button and you can see we got the response where we can see the product details first and after the product details we are getting a list of reviews and after the reviews we are getting the faqs of the product and that's it for this video in the next video we will call this api from our angular application and we will create a page to show all these details